Is there actually a far better alternative to the Leatherman Bond that's still a Leatherman? Let's find out. Now the Leatherman Bond is a pretty great tool. It comes in around six ounces, around $60. This is a four inch frame and it is very light and pocketable. Now it has the file, you have your awl, you have your screwdrivers, you've got your knife, you've got your can opener. Then on usual models, you have your 3D bit driver or not bit driver, but your Phillips. I actually put the Leatherman bit driver into mine. I swap mine out, you can do that. Now the bond, Definitely has a great history. The PST pretty much started out what well, did start out Leatherman, the company. So this is the modern reinterpretation of it. And some things have definitely changed. Now, it does come in at $60. And I keep hearing that a lot of people have said, hey, I love Leatherman products, but I can't afford them yet. I just have to keep saving up money. So what could you do? Now, a lot of people don't want to buy cheap multi-tools from overseas. They're not a fan of that. They still want to do American-made, preferably Leatherman. There is an option that maybe a lot of people would prefer, or some, to the Leatherman Bond. Let's check this next tool out. Welcome the Leatherman PST2. Now, the original PST ran for a while, and then eventually they actually upgraded the original PST to the PST2. This does have a little bit more of a square frame. I did add the pocket clip. It does not come with a pocket clip, but what you do get is this combo blade. You can always, I think you could probably swap this out for a normal blade for maybe a PS2 or a PST rather. I'm not completely sure about that, but it might be an option. You do have the screwdrivers. You also have a pair of scissors, which we'll talk about in a little bit. We've got a file. We have the can opener, the Phillips driver, and the very small micro driver. Now, this is a pretty cool option for those who want to have a very minimalist carry, but still want to find a fairly inexpensive option to the Leatherman Bond. Now, when we look at both of these contenders, one of the first ways we notice that the PST2 is perhaps superior to the Bond is weight. Now, keep in mind that I did add the pocket clip. Obviously, it doesn't add a lot of weight. We see this at 5.5 ounces, whereas in the Bond is 5.9 ounces. Now, I know it's pretty minuscule. It's not that much, but one of the areas is definitely weight. When we look at the thickness of the scales, they seem to be pretty much the same right there. I do notice that the Bond seems to be a little bit bulkier just because of the design, how the handles are not flat, which is an advantage we'll talk about later. In the pocket, I'm not sure that it is an advantage. I really love how the PST2 and the original PST actually carry in the pocket. This is the knife blade I was talking. You might be able to swap this out to the PST2 perhaps if you don't like the combo blade. Now we've talked about weight. Now price is the next thing. So the bond is around $60, $59 right now. Some people maybe you know, can't really swing that right now. So the PST2 comes in on eBay for about half that price. Always be careful with eBay. I have had really good experience. I think out of perhaps several hundred transactions, maybe one or two was lost. I lost a Leatherman side clip, which is a really sad story. Anyway, but most all my transactions have been really, really good. Now, the PST2 that I saw is listed right now for $35 buy it now on eBay. One of the things you need to consider is that not every PST2 that's listed that way is actually a PST2. Several of them look like just normal PSTs. People don't really maybe know the difference. Hopefully, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Conversely, if you look at a PST listing on eBay, a lot of times you can find good deals because people don't realize it's the PST2 version. 
and you can buy it for a little bit cheaper even than that $35. I think I have been able to get some of these for about $20, $25, really good deal. Just a great, great tool. Let's go ahead and put the Leatherman PST2 through its paces cutting. Now it does cut through the rubber pretty well. Pretty happy about how it works on that. Now on this strap, you do have to give it time. The scissors are not shears like some modern scissors are on some multi-tools. Think of those from Roxon, Next Tool, some of the other ones. It does cut through paracord within a couple cuts. The scissors have a spring. Sometimes it does seem like it gets a little stuck. You may have to grease these, but I do like these scissors. I like having that option on the PST. Pretty happy with that. I do think having scissors in such a minimalist tool is a pretty great idea, and I do like that the PST2 has that option. So that's the third really great way that it may supersede, to some extent, the Leatherman Bond, be a little bit better. Not only the weight, not only the price, but the option of the tool set, and then it has scissors that the Bond does not. Obviously, with the Bond, you can swap in scissors. People have done mods. Not everyone enjoys tearing your tool apart, perhaps voiding Leatherman warranty, all that entails with that. I don't mind, but a lot of people don't like that. So I think the PST2 is a pretty great option. Now, let's look at some ways that the PST, that the Bond, rather, is a little bit better than the PST2. One of the ways we notice is that the Bond does have the awl rather than the pair of scissors. Now, if you are, if the awl is one of the tools that you use all the time, then definitely the PST2 is not for you because it doesn't have it. The scissors sort of swap out that. I guess you could take one of the screwdrivers, make them at all, or swap the all out. But again, you get into modding. Now, one of the other ways is the handles. The Bond actually has better handles than the older style. That's one of the nice things about the Bond. The handles have been rolled over. They're not quite as dangerous to grip as the older style. I don't mind these that much, but the Bond does have some nicer, more comfortable handles. Then I think a third option is it does look like the plier head is a little bit beefier on the Bond. Maybe slightly longer, maybe slightly thicker. I think I do like the plier head on the Bond, but I have to say I really love the old-fashioned PST and the PST2. They'll always hold a place in my heart, and I really think they're still great tools to this day. Hopefully this has helped. If you feel like you can't afford Leatherman tools that are new, always look on the used market because you can find some amazing deals and some of them may be better than the new tools.